welcome you to Carousel at Home. We hope you enjoy a little bit of Slovak traditions from your home. We'd also like to thank the MCC for inviting the Slovak community to participate in Carousel at Home. Hi everyone, I'm Irene Timko from the Slovak Village. Welcome to Carousel at Home 2020. Unfortunately, with COVID-19, we're not able to welcome you in our hall this year, but we would like to give you a glimpse of our Slovak culture and our community's involvement over the past 48 years. It all started back in 1973 with the passage of the Multiculturalism Act and the establishment of the Multicultural Council of Windsor and Essex County. My father, John Komenar, represented the Slovak community on the steering committee of the MCC and became, which became the first board of directors. In June of 1974, their folk arts committee had Windsor's first ethnocultural festival at St. Clair College, the Patterson campus. Food, displays, and a concert at the Cleary Auditorium as a finale. In 1975, with the cooperation of the International Freedom Festival, they had their first downtown bazaar at the Cleary. And in 1976, with separate villages, Carousel became a reality. The 1970s were really the heyday of folkloric activity. The Windsor Slovak Rosmarin dancers was also formed in 1973 by John Komenar and Paul Kubani. And together with Branch 28 of the Canadian Slovak League, they hosted the first Slovak village in 1976 here at St. Cyril Slovak Centre. Dad was president of the local branch 28 of the Canadian Slovak League and the Slovak Village Chair. He was also on the board of the International Freedom Festival and in 1987 he received the Paul Lutzier Memorial Award for his contributions in the Cobo Hall in the company of Joe Clark, Canadian Prime Minister. Quite an accomplishment. The Slovak Domovina dancers were formed in the fall of 1983, sponsored by Branch 28 of the Canadian Slovak League, and in 1984 they hosted their first Slovak village. I was the chair, and for many years we had two Slovak villages, one each weekend. Then from 1992 to 1998, Nativity Lutheran Church also hosted a Slovak village with Ophelia Strauss, an MCC board member from 1992 to 96. I served on the board of directors of the MCC for 12 years from 1990 to 2002 and as the carousel chair in 1991, 92, 93, and 95. From our Slovak community, Lou Hule also served on the MCC board and was treasurer. Anne Ilianich was treasurer, carousel chair, and president. In 2000, Domovina took part in Expo 2000 at the river with the OAS with a food booth. And both Rosmarin and Domovina performed at the riverfront for many years. In 2005 and 2006, Domovina and Rosmarin hosted a joint carousel village. But as in many ethnic communities, the older generation were no longer able to help and many of the younger did not have the time or interest. So from 2007 to 2016, we did not have a Slovak village, but our community continued to support the MCC and be a part of Carousel, performing at other ethnic villages and MCC events. In 2017 and 18, Domovina and Rosmarin once again hosted a Slovak village. Joe Kopchuk was our chair, I was the co-chair. 
And in 2019, the newly formed Slovak Heritage Foundation of Windsor and Essex County joined us in hosting the Slovak Village. And this year, Peter Guba, their president, is our Slovak Village Chair. Hopefully, we will see you when we celebrate Carousel's 45th anniversary. On behalf of the Slovak community in Windsor, Essex County, we wish you a happy Canada Day. Celebrate with us. Oslavujte s nami.